Hey guys, what's up? Um, if you cannot read, which I hope that all my viewers can read, we are doing the next top five video, which is video games. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. So number five is the Ellen Page game Beyond Two Souls. Yay, Ellen Page! Um, love this game. Um, they showed the trailers for it and all this other stuff, and I got super excited for it just because one, it's Ellen Page, and two, because it was by the same people that did Heavy Rain. And Heavy Rain was actually the second game that I ever played on PlayStation 3. Um, the first being Uncharted 3, because that's what I brought, bought my PlayStation 3 with. Um, but, uh, yes, I played the Uncharted games out of order. Hate me all you want. Um, but, uh, uh, I heard that they were making a new game, and I was like, I have to play it. Heavy Rain, I played Heavy Rain, I got every single ending, I plat or platinumed it first go, you know, not first go, but you know what I mean. Um, you know, did everything in that game. And so I did the exact same thing with Beyond Two Souls, went and bought it. I, it even got so bad, there's like a trophy they have to get where you have to play as both uh, Aiden and Ellen Page's character, Jody. And so like I got two controllers and like I held them like this. And so I was like playing with Jody with this controller and then playing Aiden with this. So I was like doing a claw method. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a great game. I would suggest playing it. Um, it takes a long time. It's just like Heavy Rain. It takes a long time to beat. It takes a long time to platinum. So, if you want one of those games where you can sit, where you have to like sit down and grind and grind and grind and grind, this is your game. If not, go with something else. Um, number four is Infamous. I have not played the Infamous um, Second Son for PlayStation 4 because I don't have one yet. But um, I have played every other Infamous. I have platinumed Infamous 1, 2, and Festival of Blood DLC. Or not the DLC, but the expand, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, um... Yeah, I love these games. Um, I just love the fact that you have like the, the the option to be either good or evil, and how that like affects your powers and stuff like that. And like the fact that you have to play through the game twice just to see both endings. I love that fact because you know you always get those games where it's like you can be good or evil, but the endings the exact same thing, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah, you get those games. I hate those games. So, um, yeah, I really like the flexibility of, of Infamous as a whole. Infamous Festival of Blood, on the other hand, with the whole vampire thing, that, that threw me off, but I still played it. Fantastic game. Number three. Oh my god. You have no idea how much I love this franchise. It's Resident Evil. Okay. I, um, played Resident Evil 4 first. I know. Shoot me. Um, I played it first just because I saw it at a garage sale. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to get back into gaming because I haven't played a game since Spyro came out. Yeah, Spyro. So, um, yeah. Picked up Resident Evil 4, played it, scared the living crap out of me. I was like 8 years old. Scared the living crap out of me. The regenerators, like, oh, they were, I, I, I couldn't sleep for weeks because of this game. Um, since then I have played, I, I bought uh, Resident Evil 4 again on PlayStation 3. I have 100% in Resident Evil 5, 100% in Resident Evil 6. Um, I have like half of the trophies in Operation Raccoon City. Um, I just downloaded um, Code Veronica X. Yeah. And like, I just love the storyline because it's just like, if you don't know what the heck they're talking about in like Resident Evil Zero, you're not going to know what they're talking about during the entire series because it's like you have to know every single virus, every single character. How this character ties in with this character. Why this person is important to the story. Like, I love those kinds of games. That it's like, you have to know everything from the beginning. Because if not, you're going to be lost. Um, number two is um, Uncharted. Um, this is actual, uh, I actually played Uncharted. Like, the first Uncharted. Second, I played Uncharted, well, I played like halfway through Uncharted 3. And then realized I had no idea what was going on. And I had the money, so I went and bought Uncharted 1 and 2, like the dual bundle or whatever. And played through those in two days. Like, I got them both done, like, in one day. And I was like, I absolutely, like, love these games. 
Like, I want to know more about Nathan. I want to know more about Elena. I want to know more about why he's doing this. I want to know more about Francis Drake. Like, those games got me excited about history. History! Like, I hate history. I've always hated history. And then as soon as I started finding, about, finding out that Francis Drake was a real person, I was like, <laughs> sign me up for every history class ever. So, um, yeah. I love those games just because, um... It's like um, Assassin's Creed where it takes like somewhat real stuff and makes it into not so real stuff. And um, yeah, I just love that that aspect of taking something real and then totally twisting it around to where it's like sci-fi crap. So um, yeah, Uncharted, definitely my second favorite. Only because the first one is another Naughty Dog game. So number one is Last of Us. Yes, this game, y'all. Um, this story is so engaging. Ten minutes in and you lose your daughter. Like, your daughter is dead. That's like, if you don't get, like, kick, like, that was like a kick in the crotch, dude. Like, if I was a man and had the genitalia, like, I would be crying. Like, like, I did cry. The very first time I played the game... I was on my couch, like, <laughs> like, zombie like a little baby, because, like, this little girl, she just died for no reason, and it's so heartbreaking, and then you meet Ellie, and then Joel grows attached to her, and it's just, it's just, it's just a, uh, y'all, this, this game reduces me to a blubbering mess, um, it's just, it's, it's so good. Like, I, I've played it so many times. I've played the multiplayer so many times. Um, played the DLC for it. Absolutely love the decision they made with Ellie and Riley. Like, their relationship, that makes it so much better. Like, y'all don't even understand. That, that just completed everything for me. Totally excited if they make a second one, in my opinion. Um, Hugh Jackman should play Joel in the movie. Um, don't know about Ellie yet, but I just know if y'all don't get Hugh Jackman to play Joel, I'm gonna cry. Like, I'm physically going to shed che shed tears. Shed tears, shed shed shed, 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 shed tears. Anyway, so, um, yeah, those are my top five favorite games. Top five games, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to suggest a game that I should play, um, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box. Or come talk to me on Instagram, Twitter, um, basically anywhere. Um, so yeah, come talk to me. Go, go like, like, like. Go watch a bunch of the other videos. And um, I'll see you in the next video. So, um, bye guys.